welcome back to the channel and today we are looking at your best builds in scrap mechanic where i've asked my discord to submit their best scrap mechanic creations to me and we are starting off with the mercedes s class w140 by Almibama. Almibama. So just on the lift, like it, you can already see how ridiculous this thing was even built. Well, I guess you could have built it off the lift and then just put this as the byproduct of putting it on the lift. But there's clearly when it comes off off of the lift, obviously it uh, it looks a little bit more reasonable. Clearly, there's a lot of glitch welding in this, but the interior is kind of what I'm looking at here. Like the exterior, obviously, looks pretty cool in of itself. Like look at this front grill and everything and uh, the recessed headlights and all that stuff. But here, let's, uh, it's a little bit laggy, but let's get in the front seat here. Oh wait, is this, it's just a button? Is this button just gonna make me go? Oh, it opens the door. Wait, can I, this isn't a driver's seat. Oh, it's it's the other side. Okay, all right, all right. Didn't know what country I was in for a second there. All right, uh, hold on. Oh, I left the door open, dang it. Uh, The steering, oh no, <laughs> I mean, Aesthetically, it's great. The steering is a little, uh, it's having some issues. Wait, what? That whole thing rotates? Why? All right, hold on. Let me just face it in this direction. Let's make it so we don't have to steer. Oh. Make it so we don't have to. There we It hops. It likes to hop a little bit. All right, let's go into first person. Oh, yeah. I like how it looks like the passenger has all the gauges. All right, here we go. It's a bumpy ride here. This one doesn't have, uh, this is the, the non-shock absorption version. I didn't get the, the shock package when I purchased this car that's in the uh, the Touring L edition. All right, we got some buttons on here. Probably lights. Yeah. And then, oh, my door, of course. Man, look, even, it, like, everything. Oh, it's hard to see. Like, everything has detail in it. Like, this view is actually, this is like the movie view where the driver and the passenger are having a conversation, you know, on their way to the job. And the, this is the camera angle here. It's actually pretty cinematic. I like this view a lot. All right, not the fastest car. Hopefully this isn't the getaway car. All right, we got a lot of creations to look at today, so we're gonna have to move on. Okay, up next, uh, I think this is actually a great time for this because I recently in my survival crash lander series, I got to the crash ship. So this is apparently a survival spaceship interior replica by Chocolate Milk 69 Outside coming soon. All right, whoa, okay, this is pretty big. All right, so it, it looked like, oh. I wasn't sure if this was the entrance or not. I think there's like the, the screen inside the area oh wow this is actually really good can we get like a side-by-side -side comparison of like here's this angle here's the uh, control board thing with like that thing here's where the toilet is oh that's so good and then here's where the locker is the, the locker's not falling over on this one though Oh, that's awesome. So in the Crashland version, the ship was slightly different, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this is like the, the the vanilla survival version, which um, I don't, this is where the master battery is in the vanilla survival. And then there was like something, I think there was like a, you could make something here, like bearings and stuff. And yeah, this is actually really cool to see how accurate you got just with vanilla parts. All right, I'd be curious to see what the functional version is like. Maybe we can get a bit of a taste of uh, what the end of survival may be if we actually repair our crash ship. All right, up next, this is the Bandit's Truck and Trans Am by I Not Smarty. All right, well, we'll see about that. All right, this one's a little bit laggy. I think I remember mentioning that there's another vehicle in here uh, and it's laggy until they get separated. So it looks like we can support, okay, nope, that's not actually hooked up. Thought I was gonna be, oh, that side is the side that's hooked up. This is probably gonna put the pistons down. There we go the trailer let's not do that because i kind of want to drive around a little bit open this up this looks great like just the whole aesthetic of it is great i think i left that door open oh we got blinker activation can make sense all the lights activation my door and hazard lights i assume there we go all right let's drive this thing see how it feels driving look at that look at the horses it's so pixelated but i can still tell what it is and I know that this is like a replica, uh, a refer like a reference to a movie that I am not familiar with, so I can't speak to how accurate the replica is. But even not knowing the original uh, reference, I still can tell what that picture is, which honestly kind of surprises me. All right, drives great, but I know there's more to this. We got to get to the back here. All right, let's open the. Oh, oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. And yes, there is something back here. Getting laggier as I approach. All right, I'm assuming I'm gonna have to disconnect with these blocks here. There we go. 
All right, am I actually going to be able to drive this off? All right, let's do first person. All right. Whoa, this thing's fast. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And there we go. The frames are coming back. Oh, yes. Look at this. I love the paint job on the hood there. Man, this thing really drives. This has a, bun a bunch of buttons, too. Probably all similar buttons. All right, we got a bunch of headlights. And we got our own horn, too. I hate to toot my own horn, but uh, I'm in the driver's seat, so. All right. Man, I'm surprised this thing could fit so nicely back there. Boop. Okay, up next, we've got Choo Choo Charles by Laser Sailor One. It's not a game I've played, but I've seen plenty of clips from Choo Choo Charles, and it looks absolutely terrifying. But uh, this is a scrap mechanic version, so it should be a little bit more lighthearted. <laughs> this creation uses inverse kinematics to create a holonomic drive to follow you. Those are words together in a sentence to create meaning. That's how language works. All right, so I guess there's a version that follows you. I don't... I think this is the version that you can... Drive. Use the connect tool. Oh, these are the switches? Oh, 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 oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, this is... I cannot believe how accurate this is. What? It walks so well. It's too... It's too fast. Look how fast it... Okay, this is actually... I didn't think it was going to be this good of a creation. I'm, I'm genuinely run, running away right now. I need to get into, like, a vehicle or something. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm going behind you. What are you going to do now? It's going to turn around, of course. This is insanity. Okay, if I stop, what are you going to do? Ah, I don't like it. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Whoa, did you see all that stuff inside? All right, can you stop? Can you just... I just want to, like... Oh, I'm not going to be able to do it. I just want to spawn in my own creation. Yeah, what are you going to do now? I mean, no, 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 get away from me. Oh, my God, it's going to walk on top of it. All right. Oh, it's actually walking on top. No. Oh, it's it's impaled my car. All right, run, 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 run. This is genuinely terrifying. All right, how fast are you actually? Look at this. Look at this is like really fast. And as far as I'm aware, it is like, I think it's actually the legs that are making that are its only source of uh, movement. Which the fact that it's walking that smoothly and that quickly. It's kind of mind blowing. All right, gonna pull some fancy maneuvers here. Oh my god, it just it just goes in the direction. It doesn't even care if it's facing you or not. This is insanity. That's so awesome. I really like that creation a lot. There's only one way to defeat you, two Charles, and that is nuclear weapons. Look at that, he's gone. We're safe now. You know, except for the uh, amount, amazing amount of radiation that we're currently absorbing. All right, up next by David Baguetta. This is the Rolls Royce Dawn No Mods. Whoa, okay. This is a really nice looking car. Oh, look at the way I'm chilling right there. I am just chilling. Oh, look at the interior. Oh, oh, I fell. I fell out of my car. <laughs> you hate it when that happens? Whoa, did you see that open up? I gotta, okay, there's my door. Oh, fancy doors. Oh, oh, look at this ride height. Very subtle. Look at that. And then I can lower myself like that. Wow. This is a fancy car. And we can even, we, we can put away the hood ornaments. Oh, it's a convertible. <gasps> this thing's way more complex than I was expecting. Whoa. Wow. It's so smooth. What was that, number three? Oh, that was number four. All right, well, it's coming back out. We get to watch it come back out now. Wow. It's not even done yet. Look how it settles down so perfectly. Whoa. All right, number five is lights. Six is radio. Seven could be a driving thing. Eight is horn. Let me drive around a little bit. All right, so we're going this fast. Press number seven. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going faster or not. I mean, this thing drives really well, though. It's super easy to drive. Oh, look at the... The tail lights are so clever. Look at that. It's like two glitched in lights, but then it leaves you like two different shaped tail lights. That's pretty cool. Infotainment screen rotation is what number seven is. So that is what I can like put that away if I wanted to. Like no distractions while you're driving. All right, incredible build. The mirrors. Wait, 
The side mirrors are great too. Okay, up next, a fast printer by Caspi74. A 16 by eight page, two colors? Wait, you can print colors? How do you print colors? Oh, it's like an actual printer. Okay. Oh, oh, that's how it's two colors. Okay, two different materials. All right, so I guess what I'm supposed to do, I click a row, then I can do, or if I do all the rows and do that, ah, ah, and then I do that. There we go. And then, there we go. Okay, let's print. It's fast. Whoa, that was too fast. Hold on, I wanna see it again. Ready, and go. That's kind of crazy. I like the two color aspect of it. And everything like stays attached. I was wondering, I saw the cardboard and I thought it was gonna be like a cardboard creation, but that's just a detached at the end. That's pretty awesome. Really good use of the vacuum pipes and stuff and logic for that matter. Look at all that logic. That's actually a lot of logic. Oh, uh, and here we go. We got a do, oh, it has the instrument on it. We got a doof wagon by Mal Hardhead Shot. Oh, oh, this is a really cool looking doof wagon. Funny thing, one of my first creations before I even had a YouTube channel was trying to build a replica of the doof wagon. So that was before those blocks existed. That was before, uh, I think before the pipes existed, maybe. That was before a lot, of, that was before mods existed. It was before the weld tool existed. I never even made a video on it. I ended up losing it when I uh, switched hard drives to a new computer. But we got the drums in the back. Look at all these drum things. Pretty sure these satellite things weren't, may not have been a thing. Actually, they may have been, I don't know. It's hard to remember that far back. Oh boy, I'm sorry. All right, let's get inside and drive this thing around. We got music. It's like marching music. Oh, it's triggered by sensors. That's pretty cool. That's an interesting way of doing it. Oh boy, we're driving over some stuff. Uh, oh, it's a little top heavy. I mean, I imagine the real creation is as well. All right, see, my only criticism for accuracy's sake. Is you see these like big vents? See how they're like nice and straight? The original doof wagon, they kind of come out to the side and then straighten out again. And I only know that because when I was replicating it, that was a very difficult part of the build process. So I'm, I understand why you decided not to, uh, not to go with that part. But I did not include the guitar, that's for sure. So this is awesome. All right, let's flip it over just because it's easy. Okay, up next is an uh, interesting looking UFO. I haven't really seen these ramp pieces used well much in like vehicle builds. So I bet that attracted my attention for this one. This is by Le Person de Banana Split, the Suoblin Flyer. Oh, look at that stability. What are we getting here and hop on, uh oh. Hop on up into the other seat. That was weird. All right, uh, right, let's hope I can fly it. WASD does nothing. Well, this is not a driver's seat, so that makes sense. Okay, so there's my pitch. There is my roll. Oh boy, this is gonna be, uh, maybe hard, maybe, oh, maybe not. Oh, 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 no, 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 I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Oh, I tried to use my, I thought it, maybe it was gonna have my standard controls on it. It is not. It is not my standard controls. Oh, oh, there's down, okay. Okay, and then there's rotation. Oh my goodness, this is, yeah, this is definitely not the controls I'm used to. Let's just do some nice, gentle uh, riding, I guess. Maybe follow camera might be kind of useful. Yeah, yeah, here we go. This seems reasonable, right? All right, and then I think, yeah, this is like extra boost, extra boost. All right, no boost, no boost, slow down, slow down, slow down. All right, I feel like I did a pretty good job with that. I really like this ring, this uh, curve here. Good job on the aesthetics on that one, using the unique parts. Okay, up next, this one's interesting. A ball and chain flyer with no mods and glitches by Gwack. Wait, oh, it also floats perfectly. Okay, let's get on top of this thing. So this is, um, I'm really curious, is it, it is legitimately, oh no, I think we're about to break. Uh, all right, well, let's get in. Oh, I turned it off. Okay, I think I broke it. Oh, I broke it. Uh, 
<laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, there we go. All right now, ready go. Number two. Oh, this is actually really interesting. So I think I can like, yeah, I can I control the ball with the seat. Okay. So the ball is just dragging me along. So that ball is pretty much the creation. And this is just, I'm just attached to it with a chain. So see, I can turn the ball to the left as it goes. What's number three? Looks like number three is to go down. Yeah, number two is to probably ascend. Oh yeah, there we go. This is a pretty cool concept. I kind of like this. It's a really well built chain, to be honest. I usually don't, I usually build my chain kind of like half of that. They're not like actual circle links. Just cause I don't want to add, I don't want to double up the bearings like that. All right, let's go. All right, actually, let's go up in the sky and then I'm just gonna turn it off. And it'll be kind of fun. All right, ready, three, two, one, off. Oh, look at the chain. This probably is gonna be fine. Yeah, no problem. Take a look, there's just a lot of thrusters in that thing. Actually, it's probably kind of interesting in there. Whoa, whoa. Told you it was interesting in there. Look at that stuff. There's some stuff, there's some logic going on. Yeah, because to turn, to change the direction, no, actually, no, I think, I think it makes sense. Yeah, it's just gyro stabilization, because you turn it to then go into a different direction. It doesn't just change which thrusters are going necessarily, so forward is always using the same thrusters. All right. Yeah, it's not as complicated as I initially may have suspected, but still really cool to see. Okay, up next, I'm not sure what this is, but it kind of intrigued me. It's called Bar Slide Bob by Scrapper. I don't know if it does, I think it does something. Oh, okay, here we go. It's doing something. All right, my prediction here. My prediction is no matter what seat you're in, he's, he's gonna give you that orange drink. So I'm gonna go in the farthest possible seat and I'm gonna press number one. Look at the lighting. Oh, it looks great. Oh, the coordination with the hand. Okay, this is a pretty cool concept. This is so unique. All right, I'm gonna press, I press the button. Oh, I'm sorry, I probably must just messed it up. I think I just messed it up. Yep, it's gonna go back though. He's magical, he is magical. I love the coordination with the hand. All right, so now if I sit like right here, Right, I bet it's so cinematic with that lighting. I bet he's gonna give it to me now. Pew! Bob, I'm not tipping you. Oh, look at the TV with the color bars. All right, why did we, why, why? Hold on, let me reset Bob. Maybe it only works once and then it like, it logs that location. All right, let's try this seat right here. All right. Come on, Bob, you can do it. I'm your only customer. This is my drink. Did I really just like luck out and pick the only seat that actually works? I thought it was gonna be like, it goes to whatever seat you're in. I think it's actually just, it go, it slides down the table and you get to watch it slide down the table. That's really funny that I just happened to pick the right seat to do that for the first go. Bob needs a little bit more training apparently. All right, up next, we're heading to the water because we have the steamship Ocean Beauty. This is by Eddie227, the fictional ship made by me. This fictional ship won the blue ribbon for the fastest ocean crossing. However, it had a short career and found its end faster when the ship suddenly stopped from, transmi from transmitting messages through Morse code to the offshore Morse station. The ship never arrived at the destination harbor and has never been found sunken. That is because it's in my workshop. All right, I told me not to spawn it underwater. How do you get to the surface of the, oh boy. Oh, it, it lags less when it's on the surface. Wow, this thing floats too much. I feel like it should be sinking at least like that far down, right? Look at the wheel. How do you get in? I'm gonna toilet my way in. Oh, oh, look at this. We have hallways and rooms. This has a whole interior. Whoa, this is too much. Whoa. And these different these different colors all have different shaped rooms. Office, there's a med bay. I haven't even seen like the top of the ship and I can drive it too. There's a safe in the office. This is crazy. All right, how do I get up? This is like a, this is, this is a full on cruise ship. We got bathrooms, there's stairs. Wait, it goes down more? <gasps> We've got like the engine room. Okay, I turned that on. Turn that on. We got power now. There we go. There's a railway? 
with like coal and stuff. There's mine carts. This is a crazy big. This keeps going. Put so much into this. All right, where? There's two sets of mine cart rails. It is, it's getting laggy down here though. All right, but where, oh, we got more of these like boiler engine things. We got more coal and stuff. And then this wraps around to the back. Okay, I think I've seen all of like the interior. Now let's get upstairs to the deck. Oh, I found like the cruise quarters. There's a more, and there's a bathroom here too. Okay, this was like in the back upper area of that, uh, all the components and stuff. All right, here's some more stairs. Oh, there's more interior. Oh, okay, I see, I see. All right, let's go around, let's go back this way. And finally, we're getting to the outside. Whoa, oh, there's more inside too. Whoa, what is this? These are like the luxury suites. Oh yeah, these are the luxury suites. See the size of that bed? All right, then we go up. We can go down again. Some more luxury suites. Then we got cafeteria. Wow, this is a luxury cruise liner. All right, back up to the top. Here we go. Got some safety boats. What are these things? Are these like, are these adventure subs? Oh, these are medical emergency craft, I see. These look like they are potentially functional. Oh, just each of the thrusters. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Wait, isn't there supposed to be like a driver's seat somewhere? Ah, I see. It's up there. Yeah, here we go. And then, look how big this thing is. All right, press number one. Oh, we're going. Two, got more. Oh, number two and three is like uh, strafing. You can kind of turn. Is the wheel going now? Let's check. Now, the wheel, I don't know, maybe the wheel is static. Well, there's a... There's an engine. That engine hooks up to button number one, which is on. So the wheel should be spinning. Maybe it's just really slow or stuck. It's probably just stuck, to be honest. Here, if I put a block down, maybe. There it goes. Fixed it. Wheel is... Oh, and it's stuck again. <laughs> Gotta put another block down. There we go. Good old scrap mechanic physics. All right. I think we're, gonna, uh, we're about to crash. We're about to crash. All right, stop sending the Morse code signals. Stop sending the Morse code signals. We're done. We're done here. All right, so we've looked at a handful of creations in this episode. Let me know which one of those was your favorite creation or which one did you think was the best build of the best builds? If you have creations that you'd like to submit to future best builds episode, make sure you join the Discord with the link down in the description below. If you guys enjoyed this episode, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.